Hey, Mark Nelson. Today, what I want to share with you is the top seven social media posts. Have you ever tried to figure out what to say on social media if you're building a business? I mean, that's, doesn't it sometimes it's just like, what the heck am I gonna say today? Well, today I'm gonna give you the top seven social media posts. Hey, if you're coming on live, give me a live, tell me where you're coming from. If you're coming on replay, do a hashtag replay. Tell me where you're coming from. I am coming from, I'm on the backside of my RV. That's my Norris Lake. I use, this is my favorite place to do this because it's so nice. But today it's 90 degrees and the sun's out and I'm trying to get in the shade. Whew. I struggled for a long time with social media. I didn't know what to post. So I'm going to give you the top seven. The number one, hey, Shiloh, how are you doing today? Good that you're on here. And I love your posts. You are really good at storytelling. And that's really what I want to talk about today is, is the storytelling aspect. See, the, the top seven, the number one is a story about fear because it really shows your vulnerability side. You know, I, I don't know about you, but if you ever start following some leaders and, the, you know, the, I don't follow the cocky ones at all, and it, just because I, I don't, they come across too brash, but I do follow the ones that tell their story. So if you tell their story, see, the number one, I can remember the first time I went live, I was shaking in my boots. I didn't know what to say. I didn't, I thought I actually turned the phone off three times because I just didn't want to start. See, if you can tell them what your number one fear was, it doesn't matter what it is. It can be anything. But if you tell them what their fear is, you catch people's attention. And then what you do is, then as you're telling the story, you ask a question, can you relate to that? Have you ever tried to do a, a Facebook Live and you just shut the phone off because it was so stinking scary? So after you ask a question and people come on as you bring, start talking to them and, and comment to them a little bit if they're coming on. It doesn't matter if they're on your live because they come more, more come on the replay. Then you start telling your story about really what happened. I knew that if I wanted to grow my business, that one of the best ways to do it was to doing a Facebook Live and giving value. So I got out of my shell, got out of my shyness, got out of my being an introvert and started giving value. I would read something and all I would do is learn it and give three tips. And as I started to share myself more and more, then guess what? My business started growing. See, all of a sudden you start capturing them because there are so many people doing the same thing. So many people that are doing the same thing that you're doing. So as it changed, right? So you want to tell them how it changed for you and how that fear, how you overcame your fear, it helped your business. And then you have to have a call to action. People do love when you're real shy, and you are a real person, I love your posts. And then you have to have a call to action some, some way. So I typically try to give tips, and my call to action, if you hang on to the very end, I'll give it to you. I do have a freebie, and you're gonna like it. See, if people know you're real, know you're vulnerable, they do reach out to you. The other one, this is that was number one. Number two is if you're joining a new business, and I don't know about you, if you've only been in one business or maybe been in two, ah, I can't tell you how many I've been in because I would start, this was it, and then I'd get halfway through, get disenchanted with it or whatever that is, and I'd stop. So when I would start reaching out and tell people, you know, I was in this new deal, you know, people just kind of laugh, go, what the heck, Mark? What are you doing now? Well, there is. So what I address it. I was so skeptical at first. Man, I have been in five different companies and they all sucked. Or maybe it was me. They just didn't work for me. But I was so skeptical that this thing wouldn't work. I just didn't want to go for it. But then I kept looking at the people inside the community. I kept looking at the leaders. I kept looking at the commissions. I kept looking at that it was actually something people really wanted. I decided to take a leap. See, have you ever done that? Have you ever looked at a company and just, this was it, this was it, but you just 
didn't know what to do, so you just kept investigating and you, you didn't know how to get it started. Well, tell them, talk to them about being so skeptical, about your being nervous, about every, because everybody's skeptical. There's, because there's so many companies out there right now. And then tell them what it, when you decide to take a shot and then tell them what it did for you. See, I did just join a company. And I was nervous because it, it was a high ticket item and it sells high ticket and shoot, I have a hard time selling low ticket. How do I sell a high ticket? I didn't know how to do that. But then I still kept paying attention to who the community was and, and you know, half it, I just want to be part of a bunch of leaders. That's what got me going. Can you relate to that story? That was it. Those are the top two. If you can understand that, but I have a template. Here it is my call to action. I have a template that gives you the top seven social media posts and they're all stories that you can use because you do, if you live like I live, you have stories all over the place. You just don't even know how you can get those. So if you'd like that template, give me a template down below. T-E-M-P-L-A-T-E. -E. <laughs> I spell it because I, you guys know I'm a math teacher, so I gotta spell because I gotta remember how to, I am a very good speller, but anyway. So if you'd want the top seven social media post template, give me a template below. You take care, peace out, template, bye.